Hey, some people asked for a shooting system tutorial video in the channel, so that's gonna be the topic today. Alright, let's start by what you need. With this tutorial, I am assuming that you already have a naming behavior, but if that's not the case, no worries. You can find a lot of tutorials on how to do it for the third person template or the first person one. Cause yeah, this procedural recoil can be used in both, with a few changes. Oh and by the way, for Gasp, you have a free and amazing project from Polygon Hive, ALS V5, working on Unreal Engine 5.5 and has some nice weapon overlays and naming system. Okay, let's jump right in. Alright, the first steps are to open the sandbox character, the animation blueprint, and we create a function, procedural recoil. In this function, we need some variables. First, recoil and recoil transform, and both are going to be transform type. Then we need to create three local variables, local multiplier, float, uh, recoil rotation, which is going to be a rotator, and finally, a recoil location is going to be a vector. Then we, in the function, we add an input multiplier and it's going to be a float. And we set it to be the local multiplier variable. Then we set the local ro rotation to be the recoil rotation, this one. We, if you don't know how to split it, you take it and then split you can use just the rotation. Then you set it again, but this time you take three random floats in range and the values can be changed. It, it's what I used, but you can use another ones and here the same. It's just, I tried this and they look great, so you can use whatever you want. Then you multiply the local multiplier uh, by the random floats three times and you make a rotator and you set it to be the local variable, this one. Then we set the local rotation to be this location, the same node, you can duplicate it and select this. And we repeat the same thing we did here, but with the location. So we do this random floats in range. Uh, again, these are my values, you can change them. You multiply them by the multiplayer, uh, make a vector, and you can plug it in the recoil rotation variable. You set it. And finally, we need to set these recoil transform. Uh, you can split the struct pin and then we plug the recoil ro location in the first one. Uh, the recoil rotation is going to be this, which is this recoil rotation after the multipliers. And then the scale is going to be the same one. All right, when we are done, we need to open the anim graph. If you don't know what it is, you can find it here, animation graphs. You double click and it opens. So for this project, I'm using the Polygon Hive project, uh, which has uh, a lot of modifications. You just need to find in whatever gas project you are using, you need to find the hand eye key. And like you can see here, I added some notes. Uh, don't worry, I, I can explain how to. You use transform a modify bone here. And you can choose a bone to modify up in the right corner. And we need to modify this ones. First the hand, then the hand L, hand R, hand L, uh, lower arm, both, and upper arm, both, too. And we're going to use the recoil location and rotation, which is basically uh, this variable, recoil. We split it. 
and you use the location in every node and then the rotation just for the four, uh, these four, all right? You can leave it zero in the upper arms and then you connect each other and the output it's going to connect to two bone IK or whatever you have next. Sorry guys, editing the video, I made a mistake. Like I didn't explain that this is the node when you use it and you need to come here to translation mode. It's gonna be in ignore, just changes to add to existing. And the same for the rotation mode, add to existing and the scale, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be pinned, but you can unexpose it as a pin. And that's it. Okay, we compile, save. And the last thing we need to do here is find the event graph. And in the event blueprint update animation, you set the delta time as a variable. And then you open update logic. And here, after overlay values, or, you know, if you have a different project, you can do it in your, in the, in here, in your update animation, whenever you want. But I made it here because in this project, I wanted to be, um, I wanted to do it last, at, at last. Okay, so after update overlay values, we set the recoil, we set the variable, to be a t interp2 between the recoil and the recoil transform, these two. And then uh, the delta time we use the variable and the interpolation speed uh, 20. You can change this if it's too slow or too fast, but I use the, this value. Then we use uh, set recoil transform, which is this one. And to be uh, t interp2 between the recoil and in the target, you use make transform here. And you leave it like that, zero, zero, and scale one. And the inter speed will be 15, for example. All right, we compile, save, and oh, I forgot to, okay. We compile and save. And last but not least, we need to call it from the character blueprint. So we need the variable of the sandbox character ABP. You can uh, set it here in the begin play. And then we use the multiplier. I used uh, 3.5. You can change it. And also you need an input action. I use the left mouse button because it's faster for the tutorial, but you should uh, create a new one. Okay, let's test it. And right now you can use the recoil with every overlay state, but it's not, it's not supposed to be like that. You should use just with the rifle, pistols, etc. So to test it, we use the two-handled weapon. We use cam style uh, close, and now we shoot. And it's okay, it's a nice recoil. You can obviously change the value here. For example, eight, it's gonna be crazy, but who knows, maybe it's great. Okay, cam style. No, it's fucking crazy, but maybe for a magnum or something like that. Yeah, you can use whatever values you want. And another thing is, if you select one-handed weapons, uh, the recoil is going to be applied to the left hand too. So you can change it by going into the anim graph and just selecting the right parts of the body like this and now if we play we select the one-handed pistol it's okay it's working just with the right hand and the same with the left hand you 
can use these nodes sorry these nodes and that's it that's the recoil and with the right visual effects and sounds it can look like this you can use it on pistols rifles almost everything thanks for watching the video next one will be a showcase of some weapons uh, like a weapon system i made for the game an inventory system and many many things to come but i want to first end the combat system if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video